Okay, uh, my project for today is to fix this rake. Uh, this rake is very loose here. And so I am going to uh, remove this uh, remove this nail, which supposedly is holding it onto the uh, holding it onto the wooden handle. There we go. So it's going to have to come further down. But I decided to make it super strength, and uh, I am going to do a technique that requires you to have a special tool. So that is. Today's video is on the tool. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't film making this thing, um, but I'll show you it close up. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put it into action here, and we will we will use it, and I'll show you what it does. Hopefully, it will come out good, and then I'll show you uh, uh, what these things are. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's figure out how to how to make this thing better. All right, so first of all, I am going to smack it on the, smack on the ground and kind of get it in better, better contact with the wood. All right, so I'm going to put it in my vise so I can get a good, get a good grip of it here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use I'm gonna use wire. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this thing on with wire. So let's uh, get some wire out here. So do not use your arum cutters to cut this kind of wire. I have these really cool crescent um, crescent uh, cutters. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. I'll zoom in on them here. Uh, of course, it's not gonna focus on it. Crescent, and they are a uh, compound compound joint. So they're very 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 strong. So. Yeah, I like those. All right, so let's go back to the work here. Okay, I'm gonna cut off some wire. That should be plenty. All right, so we're gonna use this uh, baling wire, basically baling wire. It's not not quite baling wire. It's some kind of utility wire, real cheap stuff you get at the uh, craft store or hardware store, something like that. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a bend in it. So we we've, we've just folded it we folded it in half. Okay. And then we're going to put it around the work, and um, we're going to put it this way, and we're going to uh, put it on. Uh, we're basically going to tie a knot. And if you've ever done rock climbing, this is a Prusik knot. But basically, we're going to go through. We're going to go through it once, like this. Okay. And then we're going to go around, and we're going to go through it a second time. Okay, we're going to do that. And we might even do a third time. Yeah, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of wire, so let's go ahead and do a third time. So we're going to do a a super duper Prusik knot. Back in the day before there were Jumars, people used Prusik knots, and maybe some people still use them for something or other. But I use them on uh, tents. To uh, cinch up tent poles, it's a nice little handy thing. To, nice little handy thing to use. So go here, and we're gonna make a triple. We're gonna make a triple persic here. All right. All right. So now we have two halves. We have we have three loops here, and we have three loops here, and we have a hitch down here at the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm going to put these loops over over this metal thing. Okay. So I'm going to put these three loops over here, and I'm going to keep those three loops down on the wood. All right? Okay. I'm going to do that. There we go. I'm going to do that. I think that is. I think that's going to work out really cool. All right. Now we're going to use this weird thing, and like I said, I will show you this later. Um, but I just wanted to show you it in action. And then uh, I will show you more of how it works and how to build one of your own. All right. So these get tied on to this tool. Don't worry about what I'm doing here because I will link you to a video of somebody professionally doing this and 
showing you how it works. I just wanted to show you that, yes, it does work and it does do something. All right, so now let me change the camera here a bit. So you can see it better. I think that will be okay. All right. So this little point here has a notch in it and that little notch grabs the, uh, grabs the wire. And then there's a tightening nut at the bottom and it tightens on the, uh, on the whole thing. And we will use a, uh, a wrench to turn this. And once it gets snug, 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 how do I pronounce it? Snugged up a little bit, we can adjust every, uh, all these windings to make them look pretty. Well, let me have it look like it was professionally done here. And I'm going to tighten this up a little bit more. And you kind of do it by feel, uh, get a sense for when it's, uh, when it's fairly tight. And then that's pretty tight there. And then this thing rotates over the top like that. Okay. And then you loosen the, loosen the, uh, loosen the nut here and Take the tool off, All right? And now you have these little wire crimps here. We will cut those off about three sixteenths of an inch, and then just use something to push them down so you don't snag your fingers on them. And there you go. Um, that is on there really, really tight. Let me uh, let me give you a close up of that. All right, there you go. How about that, huh? That sucker's on there and it's not coming off. It is on tight. Um, so anyway, these are uh, intended for like hose clamps and, uh, and other things, but uh, yeah, they do a great job of uh, connecting things together with, uh, with good pressure. I mean, that's, that's on there really, really, really solid. I could put another nail in it, but it's not needed. I mean, it, it is good to go. <laughs> um, so you can see this kind of gripping in two places and I have them kind of spaced far apart because I, I, I want to grab two different things, but you can move them in kind of closer and, and, and have not too big of a distance between the two. Um, so yeah, so let me, uh, let me show you the, the tool that I have and uh, how I built it. Okay, back to the bench so I can show you things a little better. Um, so these are these uh, uh, cutters that I was trying to, sh trying to film over there. Uh, these are Crescent. And it says PS5429C, and uh, like I like I said, they're they're uh, a multiple uh, fulcrum uh, joint, and so they're super super powerful. So anytime I cut big heavy wire and stuff, these are the things that I go for. No sense overworking your hands. <laughs> these guys are great. Um, I really really like them. I think I got these at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Um, so yeah, Crescent. Yeah, these are great, and they have nice big nice big handles on them. They feel good on your hand. So uh, and they have a little lock here. So anyway, I like those. Um, so here's the tool and I'm just using a wrench on it. Uh, I really like these uh, gear wrenches because they have the uh, little ratchet. So um, people who make these things sometimes put a T handle on them. Uh, but I thought that was just getting away in the drawer and uh, you, you keep having to reposition your hand all the time and ratchet would be a lot better. So I just, I decided, that, you know, I'll just grab a ratchet when I, when I use this thing. But, uh, anyway, so here's the tool. Um, like I said, I'm going to link in some, uh, uh, some videos in the description. There's a company that's called, uh, clamp, right clamp, no clamp tight, clamp tight, T I T E. And, um, they make a tool like this and it's, a, it's about the size, maybe a little bit smaller. It, it does have a T handle on it, but it's basically the, this exact construction. I've, 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 I've copied their design. Um, so what it is, um, is it has a, uh, a section here in the middle uh, that rotates it's, and this is threaded. Okay. And so when you turn this, uh, when you turn this nut, you're pulling, you're drawing the, uh, this threaded rod up. Okay. So I just took a long bolt that I had and I just turned down the head. So there was no hunger. You cut it off as well. I just turned it down. Um, and so there's no head on it any longer and it fits inside and fits inside this tube. 
and then uh, you put a pin in it. So you, you drill a hole in in the uh, in the bolt, and you put this pin in it. I have a whole bunch of these uh, one eighth inch pins, so I, I use that. So now you've got this thing that that goes in and out. I have a washer here, and uh, and I can cinch it up. So that's all this does. This just pulls back. Okay. So what you're doing is you're putting this little working end against something and then you're pulling back, okay? So you've got those two wires and you're basically pulling back those two wires. Now when you use this thing, um, you, you, you bring back the wire. Here, let me use this wire, that'd be a little better. So you, 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 you put the wire over this uh, little pin here and you come to these guys and you, you, give, it a, you give it a wind and on the other side, you give it a wind, and then you take these two pigtails and you twist them together. Okay, let me let me just shit and let me just do it because it'll be a better video. It'll be a better video. Okay, so you're gonna twist this one as well. Now, since these guys are pulling, okay, cut that off. Since these guys are gonna be doing the pulling, these guys have to take all of the all of the all of the load. So these guys need to be twisted together really, really, really tight right here. Okay. So let me zoom down on that, right? So they, they kind of make a couple loops on here just to stabilize it, but then the real trick is making sure these are twisted together really, really well because these guys are gonna be pulling back, right? They're gonna be pulling back and they're gonna be taking these two wires and they're gonna be stretching them backwards. And so these have to be tight. All right, so anyway, um, the, these little pins here are sort of optional, but, um, oops, sorry. These little pins here is uh, sort of optional, but uh, I think it makes it a whole, a whole lot better uh, at the very, very end. And that's what the tool uh, that they sell has in it. So what I did was, um, let's see, so how did, I, how did I construct this thing? All right, so uh, I basically have said, let me get rid of the wire here, it's getting, it's getting confusing. Ah, I need to get the wire off, sorry. All right. All right. So I, I explained the, uh, the, 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 the bolt here. Uh, you need a tube of the right diameter. So I had some stainless steel tubing that was a quarter inch in internal diameter and I drilled it out on my lathe. And so I drilled it out to three eighths of an inch, which is what this bolt is. So now this is the thing. So, and so this is a tube all the way from, from here to here. And then there's a slot in the side. So I took a milling machine and, and milled a slot in, milled a slot in both sides. Now this little tip here, uh, this little tip, let me draw a picture of it. Okay, so the tip uh, comes down. So it's, it's this, okay? So this is, uh, this is uh, three eighths of an inch, right? And then this is the outer diameter of the of the uh, pipe, so it looks it looks nice. So this is a little insert that goes in there. Okay, it's just a press fit in there. And then uh, there's this guy, and I drilled a hole and pushed this pin in. And this pin is a rolled pin, and so it just fits in that hole. And, and uh, I drove the rolled pin in the hole there. Now the end, uh, it's hard to see, but the end it has. Uh, if I look at uh, the other uh, view, okay, I need to draw this guy, I need to draw this guy again. Right. So if I look at 90 degrees to this one, there's actually a little notch in it, okay? There's a notch in the end. And so um, the wire that you're gonna be, uh, that's taking the, 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 the loop, okay? That wire is gonna sit in this notch right here. And so this little notch is meant to hold and to hold this wire. And so that's what it pushes against, right? You've got that one, that one, uh, what do they call it, a bite in the rope? Um, it's, it's got a hold of it, it's got a hold of it. And then everything else can pull against that. And so you're just stretching the wire by grabbing that little thing there. And then uh, once you get it all tight, okay, you've got it all tight, then the final little bend to lock it all together is just that you lever, you lever this whole, you lever the whole thing over, okay? And that's when these little pins kind of come into their, come into play, is they, they are the fulcrum point when you lever those little pieces over, it goes over the top. So anyway, um, that's what I built yesterday, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. I actually built two of them. <laughs> um, there's another design 
um, that I started to build and I found out that I, uh, it was a complete failure. I really, really didn't like it. Okay. And you might see those on, you might see those online. So let me, let me show you my failure. Cause, uh, I don't like people to, you know, like people learn and not, not make the mistakes that I made. Um, so yeah, let me go get that. Okay. That was going to be this tool. This is the first one that I started to make. And so it's got a handle so you can grab it really nice. Right. And it's got this pin. So it's an aluminum handle and a, and a, a stainless steel pin, uh, uh, shaft here. And they're pinned together. There's a, there's a, there's a steel pin that runs together here. So this is pinned in, uh, so there's not glue or anything. It's, it's pinned in so it can take the torque. Uh, so, so yeah, so this is all, all made. And then it's got two holes in it. So it's meant to go in something like this and then, and then rotate. Okay. And then you take your two wires and one of the wires goes through this hole and one of the wires goes through that hole like that. Okay. And then, uh, you start, you start winding it up. Okay. You start winding it up and that's how, it, that's how it pulls those two wires. And then you would put that little V groove in this piece. You, you would machine this down to a point and you would put that little V groove in this bottom place. And then you could, uh, you could basically tighten the whole thing up by, uh, by turning this. Okay. So I saw somebody, uh, I saw a couple of people make them this way. And I thought, well, that's super simple. That's a much easier machining job than the other thing that I built. This is a much easier machining job. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay. Um, and you certainly could, and it certainly, it certainly works fine. Um, the problem I found was going to be, um, if I was going to use this end to be the little, the little point, and let's say I was going to, um, let's say I was going to put a, uh, something around here. Okay. I was going to put something around here and I have this on here. Well, now my handle, bump, my handle will, will smash into it. So I can't, I can't rotate it. So I said, okay, well, that's going to be a problem. I can, I can put things on the end. So I could put like a hose bib thing and, and use that. I could do it out here, but a lot of times I want to be able to do things in here. So I said, okay, well, I'll make this thing long. And now it will be here and then I will turn it here and then, uh, it just started to get unruly and I just didn't like the looks of it. And then I thought, well, maybe I need to put a handle on this side and it just ended up being a big mess. So I, so I gave up on this one. Okay. I got, I got it this far and decided to give up on this one. Maybe, maybe this will turn into something else someday since it's a nice, uh, <laughs> it's a nice handle I made. Um, uh, I decided, uh, I, I did this one day. And like I said, didn't like it. So the next day I decided, okay, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to build, I'm going to build this one instead. And I really am enjoying this one. It works, it works really, really good. Um, um, yeah. So there you go. And like I said, I'll put it, I'll put in a bunch of links down below.